Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakal Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about one of the most important question of Python which has been asked in recently interview. So before the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you are a beginner, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get let's go back to the compiler and if you can see i i have written here the question the question is find out k most frequent element in an array okay so the input array is one 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 two two three and this is the you know this is the k value k is equal to two and the output should be like one and two so if you can see if you count this value one 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 this comes three times right so one comes three times two comes two times three comes one time right now what we have written here find out the k most frequent element so the answer would be one and two because one and two cross the threshold okay like you know three is greater than two and two is greater than or equal to two and then but one is less than two right so that's why like the output would be one and two only so the question is how would we do that so there is one approach is that you know we can we can use a two loops for i in range this and second for j in range and then we can iterate over the over the you know over the list and then we can find out the total number of element right total number of uh, element of each uh, of each uh, i mean of each digit and then we can find out what are how many counts are greater than you know uh, by k and then we can use that but that would that would be a long process and the and the complexity also would be order of n square so what we can do here we will use a dictionary here hashing concept i believe and then we will try to solve this question so for that what we will do is that we create a function let's say def a most element and here I'll pass input array and k then what I would do is that I will create one dictionary so base dictionary right and here I will create one one set so final set here I will start one loop for i in input array okay now now what I would do now what I would do is that I will store I will store this thing into the variable right so you just think what we can do so first I'll check if this I in our base dictionary or not If it is if it is present okay let's write else if it is not present then what we would do we will make an entry so base dictionary base dictionary of i is equal to one but if it is already present then what we would do we will you know add one more value to it so plus is equal to one right now if it is present okay now I will check if this base so the base underscore dictionary of I is greater than K or not if it is then I will add my value into a set I mm -hmm. okay 
and here return return final underscore set that's it now if I try to run this I mean call this function with value 2 and with the element let's say 1 1 1 2 2 2 and 3 and try to print the answer also you can see 1 comma 2 okay so we can you know we can convert this into a list also that's not a problem we can convert this into a list and we can run this 1 comma 2 in an array or in a list now if I change my output let's say I am adding here 3 and here I am adding 4 now the output would be 1 2 3 okay so this is the first way I mean not the first way the second way how can we you know achieve the, uh, the solution and there could be multiple multiple ways to achieve the same solution and so let's understand this problem statement what is happening so see you can see this input array is okay right now if I if I try to print here not present and try to print this base dictionary and here I will print yes present what base dictionary right and here I will add uh, k repeated k times repeated and here I will give me a minute and here I will write down final set so if I run this you can see first the input is 1 right first the input is 1 so it gone here it, it has checked whether you know this i is present in this base dictionary or not it is not present so it comes here it added a value so 1 colon 1 then 3 goes into it it checked no not present so 3 1 again 4 not present so 1 1 1 1 4 4 then 1 goes here it checked yes it is present so it added plus 1 right now the value of 1 becomes 2 2 times okay and it check whether you know if it is greater than or less than whatever the condition you have to write here you like so since we have it in greater than is equal to k so it satisfies so it added into this final set so k times repeated 1 likewise again 1 goes and then for 2 goes 2 goes here okay like that so the final output is 1 2 3 so this is the small problem statement what I shown you like you know you can solve via this method and there could be multiple ways as I mentioned before so I hope you have understood this concept and if you do do like and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited chalo bye bye